Good morning, everybody. I hope you had a great evening. It was pretty warm here. Um, we had uh, conditions were right for us to get a lot of rain. Uh, it's missed us. It went north of us and south of us and left us high and dry here in the middle. We'll have the humidity. Uh, we'll have cooler temperatures today, and hopefully we'll get some rain out of it. But uh, I'm glad we didn't have a tornado outbreak. Um, off of this front that's going through in our area. While tornadoes are pretty localized, uh, there's just not a heck of a lot you can do about them except go take cover. They're going to do what they're going to do. OK, tomorrow is option expiration, uh, which will tend to hold the market in a trading range. Uh, the option expiration price points yes, in yesterday's activity were 123 and a half. 124 for the 10 year and 134, 135 for the 30 year. Uh, the knob spread has come in overnight given the strength in the stock market. Uh, the stock market strength was attributed to Apple's and especially Facebook's earnings. Now, Facebook's chief financial officer has retired. Uh, there's already a lot of commentary about how uh, Facebook cooked its numbers to beat its earnings estimates and uh, revenue projections. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, the stock market is up about eight points overnight. Uh, it stopped at uh, 1882. Uh, the uh, contract high is 1892.50. Uh, we're poised to go higher today, uh, and we very well could. Uh, we've got news this morning. Jobless claims 313. Uh, it's been beating the estimates the last couple of reports. We've got durable orders at 2%. We talked about this yesterday. Could be higher than forecast, given the strength in the automobile sector. And uh, X transportation overnight, um, Econoday raised their uh, estimate for X transportation to plus nine tenths. Everybody else is carrying plus six, plus five tenths. So this is a pretty optimistic estimate. Uh, and the most optimistic one that I've seen. So if the durable orders uh, come in higher than forecast, I would look for the uh, E-mini to rally and uh, make a new contract high. Even with Facebook's cook numbers, isn't it amazing how everybody can openly do manipulations, which are legal and they're approved um, by the regulatory agencies, especially if they support the idea that the economy is growing. And uh, the ones that get in trouble are those companies that uh, go against the company line, that everything is good and soon to get even, uh, soon to get better. So uh, the number one focus today will be durable orders, X transportation, followed by durable orders, followed by jobless claims. And the markets will be watching the E-minis reaction to such. So if these numbers come in as forecast and the E-mini doesn't make a new high, uh, that's rumor fact, profit taking, then it's got a bus support to bring new selling in. Uh, if the numbers beat these expectations, you would expect the uh, E-mini to go higher. And it's the strength of these numbers that leads me to my first buy, or the potential strength of those numbers at uh, 17 to 21, and then 9 to 13 for buy two. Just like last night, uh, uh, the 28 to... Uh, uh, the buck is our sell zone, so 27s to 31s will be sell ones. Starting to sound like a broken record. And 3 to 7 will be sell two. And that's it for the note. You know, what, what's really interesting right now uh, in the political debates is that uh, the Republican parties are fully vested now in legalizing illegal immigrants for really its corporate cronyism. Um, the uh, 
large corporations have figured out that it's uh, easier to maintain the status quo um, uh, with uh, cheaper labor uh, makes it uh, can you know supported by the government and they are putting a lot of money into that now you understand why the Democrats do it uh, it's they're going to uh, the Latinos are supposed to replace the blacks uh, and their population is growing faster in a 20 million uh, boost to the voters rolls uh, would make that happen faster I no one understands uh, why the Republicans are doing it uh, because it makes it tougher for them to get elected other than the fact that uh, the money that drives the party and keeps funds uh, election campaigns comes from crony capitalists. If over 40 percent of our GDP is controlled by the county, the state, the city, or the feds, uh, you're a fool as a businessman to overlook that source of revenue. And the easiest way to secure that revenue from Congress uh, is through campaign contributions, which are keep your man in office. He understands where the money for his reelection comes from. And uh, he will vote or certainly pay attention to what you have to say. Um, and uh, most people don't know this, but when a... Uh, congressman or a senator retire, their war chest, their election recampaign war chest, if they choose not to run for office, is theirs. And these guys generally leave office with five to ten or more million dollars in that re-election campaign war chest, which is the final payoff uh, from crony capitalists, uh, vested interests, uh, to these guys voting their way. Okay, uh, we wanted to sell 11s to 15s last night. Looks good to me still on the bond. And then we'll make it 19 to 23 for sell two. On the uh, buy side, I think we can go a little bit lower. We're at six right now, so we'll start out trying to buy 29s to ones on the idea that this morning's news will be stronger than, than forecast or has a chance to be. And then we'll make it 25 to 21. Fascism is the businessman's preferred business model. It is much easier to control your competition through government regulation and uh, roadblocks to other companies getting into business than it is to go out and innovate and invent products and do it the hard way. And uh, large companies have um, figured this out. Time in memoriam, those closest to the crown used to be what it was called, uh, where you got concessions uh, from the crown. Now they're called government contracts, and you get rules and regulations to prevent your competitors from coming in. Same deal. And there's, I mean, it's pretty easy to explain. It's just human nature. If I could go out and stay fat, dumb, and happy by sending uh, folks that control my livelihood or certainly heavily influence it, some money, I'm going to do it. And I think any of us, uh, you know, that complain about it, uh, if we were put in the same situation, we'd have a hard time saying no to being kept fat, dumb, and happy. Okay, uh, gold really broke pretty hard here uh, in V period in W, and, and I don't know if... Uh, could be uh, something Draghi said. He, uh, he had the mic at uh, 5 Eastern this morning. Uh, could be some aftermath from that. I mean, I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, the Ukraine uh, uh, took back, um, Ukrainian forces took back one of the uh, cities that's been taken over by Russian sympathizers. And uh, five people were killed. So that was somewhat supportive, but that's gone. Uh, we blew through 75, 77. So... Uh, we've got this low volume number down at 66. We've got uh, rejection of prices under 70. So let's make uh, 67 to 70 by one. And then we got the high volume number at 62. We'll make 60, 62 by two. 
But I would I would think this is probably something Draghi said. And then technically taking out support. And you can see that right here. So on the sell side are 75, 77, pretty aggressive sell one. And then the uh, spill from the overnight session came from 80, 82 for sell two. Now, one of the things that we face as individual traders and the rest of it is, uh, you know, how do you prosper in times like this? And that, to me, that really is the beauty of the profile because we don't have, as a trader, uh, we don't have to know who and why or doing whatever it is that they happen to be doing in the market. We can just see that they are and we join them. And no matter what happens to high frequency trading or the rest of it, whoever's controlling the market, and somebody always will, um, we can see that as an investor. Uh, if you want good, long-term, secure returns, uh, go with the crony capitalists with an occasional um, innovative technological company in your portfolio and energy. Um, You've got banks deemed too large to fail. Uh, you've got uh, crony capitalists. GE is the prime example of it. Uh, you've got your major uh, oil companies uh, that do produce good for the economy um, and will. And uh, so we can come in and we can uh, just do the obvious. Uh, we can uh, we can prosper from that. So things aren't all bad. I mean, as traders and uh, long-term investors, we actually can do quite well in this environment by not fighting them, joining them. Um, then we can vote for our pocketbooks and try to get some uh, uh, rationale back into uh, taxes and the rest of it. Okay, uh, Draghi spoke today. Uh, nothing happened in uh, this, so my guess is gold broke because it broke technical support, and somebody with uh, deep pockets was able to engineer that. Now, they got to produce follow-through selling on the opening. We've talked about gold losing its luster to the uh, large institutional money manager component of the market and um, being bought by the retail accounts because of what governments are doing around the world and the potential for war. Uh, one of the headlines out overnight was uh, Obama sides with Japan against China over the islands, the potential conflict there. Uh, if I were Japan, I sure as hell would not hold my breath on that deal. Okay, we left the euro last night uh, with a 25 to 35 sell. The highs 43, then 45 to 55. We're currently at 22. Uh, we've got another B pattern, and we've rejected prices over uh, 30. So we'll make 30 to 40, sell one. And we'll make 50 to 60, sell two. Uh, yesterday, we wanted to buy 790s to 138 even. The low is 38.15. We've got a B pattern. I've seen stronger Bs than this. We've got volume above time, so we'll make uh, 38 even to 38.10 by one. Draghi's time at the mic is over, uh, so we don't have to worry about that. But Draghi can make this thing move a thousand dollars, and we don't like to get in front of him. He's kind of like the uh, Fed governor. When Janet speaks, big moves can happen. Okay, crude. Uh, it's hanging in there. I, it didn't really move much overnight. Uh, I think the fact that uh, the Ukraine is trying to come back and retake uh, parts of their country that have been taken over by Ukrainian ethnic Russians, uh, sometimes characterized as being Russian special forces, in um, plain vanilla, 
uniforms. They just happen to be uh, very, very well armed with both body armor and weapons. And it's pretty hard to get your hands on that kind of equipment unless you're in the police, special forces, or army in those parts of the world where you're not allowed to own that. And uh, if you want to see the value of uh, the Second Amendment, look what happened at Bundy's Ranch out there. Uh, so our, our gun laws here uh, protect us from guys like Putin and Saddam Hussein, etc. So uh, we still have a buyer in this 25 to 50 area. It's very, very aggressive buy. Um, and then stops below 101 would be our second buy area. Uh, the market's holding in. I think long term it's a sell. Uh, last night we went out wanting to sell 102, 102 and a quarter. The high was just under 102. We're at 72. So we're, I'm going to leave it the same. Uh, we'll adjust it as the day goes on. And then 50 to 75 on the top side. Okay, uh, we left yesterday's uh, E-mini wondering what ha where was the volume yesterday? Uh, and the volume was large institutions were on the s sidelines. They weren't interested in getting short uh, in front of Apple's earnings, which were uh, uh, touted last night uh, and all day yesterday is potentially impacting the market, and they did. Didn't hear much talk about Facebook. Facebook is one of these really, really, um, it's an interesting company. They get called all the time for cooking the books, fudging the number of people that follow their service, uh, all sorts of things. But uh, the market likes them and uh, is trading them. Uh, it, it's not Apple. Uh, the, the worries about Apple have been, will our iPhone maintain market share? And last night, Apple's uh, iPhone outsold expectations. So Apple's got a for real product. They're moving uh, product. Uh, they're also supporting their stock with a stock buyback program. Uh, because they've said their stock is undervalued. Now, why do managers take money that could be used for intervention, uh, for innovation and uh, increasing market share and the rest of that and buy back stocks because they uh, some of their compensation, in fact, a great deal of their compensation comes from the price of the stock. And if they have to, by golly, they'll buy that stock back to keep <laughs> price earnings ratio where they are and support stock prices. Funny how that works. Uh, it's in their direct benefit to do that. So we've got resistance at 82, uh, 85, 87, and then 90, 92 and a half. And we are poised to move higher. So we've got our probably our cleanest break in the market at 75, a market number. Yesterday's close was 73. So buying the 75 stops below 75 on a rumor fact situation. Uh, then if we take out that 73 area, I think we got a fair shot at yesterday's low. So we'll make 65, 67 but I will adjust this after the news. Pretty good chance that uh, the uh, durable orders numbers will be uh, greater than forecast uh, this morning. So durable orders are looking for 2%. Strength in the automobile sector could make this number come in higher. I think what is uh, interesting is the uh, X transportation number by Econo Day uh, is carried at uh, plus 9 tenths. Uh, so there would be spillover from the automobile sector into the rest of the economy. I think this number could be uh, could come in lower than forecast. Durable orders could come in greater than forecast. And jobless claims at 3, 313 could come in less than forecast. So we're in a situation where uh, these numbers could be beaten. Uh, X transportation, most of the rest, uh, the other communities carrying plus five tenths, plus six tenths. I, I would be fairly comfortable with that number, but I think there is room for disappointment in this plus nine tenths. But this is what the market is going to key off of, uh, and what it'll trade. So after the news hits, and it'll be early in the session, uh, we'll come back and we'll make a quick adjustment to these numbers and see what happens. The 
Recent contract high of uh, 1892.50 is within reach. And if these numbers, the durable orders numbers, come in greater than expected, I imagine uh, that number will be reached today.